before I came to Nourish Performance, I had, uh, <laughs> I came in with a really, really excruciating sciatic nerve pain. That was my reason for being there. Um, during the evaluation that Jonathan did on me, he noticed uh, several other things that I hadn't even really considered. I had a really tight IT band on my right side as well. All of this nerve pain went down my right side. And then on my left side, I had a really tight hip flexor, which also affected my knee. And he noticed that I leaned to the left every time I walked. Mm -hmm. And I also um, couldn't, there were things I was unable to do. Like he had asked me to put my left leg over my right knee and I couldn't do it without physically picking it up and putting it over my knee. I also couldn't, um, I couldn't climb stairs at all. I would do everything even before the pain with my right side, I, I'd go up the stairs with my right leg and then pull up my left and I'd be holding onto the railing. Um, I was also overweight so that always made it difficult, but I rarely relied on my left side and now my right side was in a lot of pain. He said, and nobody else had said this, was your right side isn't your problem, it is the left side. You need to strengthen the left side and even things out. Yeah. And that's where we started. That's We started off, he had me do several exercises to release IT band and hip flexor and piriformis and um, it was a series of foam rolling and sitting on the ball and also working my left side. The whole first month was all about strengthening my left side and I had to do all these exercises like Mm. <laughs> Let me think. Okay, so to do squats, I had to put this little ball under my right foot and um, rest my foot on top of it, but I couldn't squish the ball. So whenever I squatted, I had to do everything heavy on my left side. Yeah. And it's just things like that. So we did that for at least a month. Mm -hmm. And then um, worked into other exercises. I started to feel better. Um, the pain was still there in the afternoons and the evenings, but the morning pain, it, it was starting to lighten up. I could actually walk. I usually had to stand up in the morning and hobble halfway to the kitchen, sit down in a chair, and then get up and get in, to the kitchen to make some coffee and sit down as fast as I could and I was eating so bad because I was looking for anything quick easy like oh a frozen burrito one minute you know <laughs> just yeah. and I couldn't even stand up for that I had to sit down and, and anything that was fast and quick and convenient I was just eating because I wasn't going to stand in the kitchen to do mm -hmm. any cooking so um, around the same time he asked me how I was eating and what I was eating and things I should be doing to reduce inflammation in my body. And that's how it started out. I went online and I watched all his video blogs on nutrition. I went to his nutrition section and he said, what do you think? And I thought I, I could do what he had suggested on, on these videos. So I rewatched them like three times because I'm weird. I just <laughs> wanted to get all the information I could out of them. Absolutely. And then on June 1st, so I came in and started in May and I had had this sciatica pain since January and I was getting really tired of it. So in June, I started on this eating real foods and getting the nutrients my body needed um, so June 1st, we started that. And that particular month alone, I lost 10 pounds. Wow. Um, after that, I, could, I got on such a routine that I was losing and am still losing one pound every five days. And that hasn't changed at all. And I never plateaued during that or anything. It just 
one pound every five days and I just kept this same momentum going and the diet, I don't even call a diet, it's just a change of the way I'm eating. Yeah. Over the middle of July, I I was about to give up on this pain thing because it just, it was getting better, but it wasn't going away completely. And then one day I came in and I said, I just don't know. I need to find out what's pressing on my sciatic nerve. I need to go back to the doctor. And I had already been to the doctor in January and she had um, given me a physical therapy prescription so I did that for a couple months before I even started mm -hmm. um, with Jonathan and that didn't do anything the physical therapy so I'm at that point in the middle of July I, I wanted to go back and just find out what is going on and and he gave me one more exercise that day it was little hip raises and the next day I felt better and then the day after that, the pain was completely gone and it has never come back. So that was, I was so happy. And after that, we started concentrating on the weight issue and um, we went from pain to pounds. And I said the whole entire time, I've got to take care of the pain before I can start with the pounds. Yeah. And that's how it started. So now afterwards, it's been about, Eight, so I made a goal during that time that I wanted to lose 50 pounds by the end of the year, which was 2019. And he gleefully um, started me on a lot of cardio and other exercises to, he just really upped get my game here. And I had to perform for the next few months to make my goal. And at the end of December, I did, I lost uh, my 50 pounds. That's so after all this exercise, I am being pain free and it has never come back. I am able now to go up and down stairs, left, right, left, right, not holding on. And um, my left side is much stronger. I can sit and stand and walk and run and my friends will tell me all the time that I carry myself differently, that I'm standing straighter and my frame is up more. Yeah. And so I met my goal for 2019 for the weight loss. And along with that, I have lost five sizes, five pant sizes wow. um, in, in an eight month period of time. It's amazing. I'm much happier <laughs> and I don't know when I'll, I, I don't see me stop eating the way I'm eating now. For the month of January, I've already, I lost five pounds and um, I, I know it will slow down eventually but it's, I'm still going strong.